Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm just going to have a resolve if your Windows 10 or Windows 11 Mail app will not print documents on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. And the error message would read that nothing was sent to print. Open a document and print again. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is start off by opening up the search menu, type in printers, best match, you'll come back to printers and scanners. Go ahead and open that up. Make sure your printer is set up and installed on your computer. If it's not set as the default, go ahead and select the printer and then select the set as default option, assuming you have multiple printers installed. So again, make sure your printer is listed. And if you don't see it in here, you will have to go ahead and actually add a device. If you're using a Wi-Fi based printer, just make sure it's turned on and connected to your home Wi-Fi and it should be able to recognize or identify the printer pretty quickly. And you can also add manually as well. You can also go through the printer manufacturer's website and use one of their tools in order to download the printer software onto your computer. So you have a few options on that and that would be the first thing I'd recommend looking into. Something else we can try as well, uh, we didn't have to necessarily close out of the settings window, but I'm going to reopen it by going to the search menu and then searching for settings and then proceeding to open it up. And on the left side, you want to select apps and then underneath apps, select installed apps and then search for mail. Best match, you're going to back up mail and calendar. Go ahead and select the three dotted icon next to it and select where it says advanced options. Scroll down. Underneath reset, if the app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select repair. And if you're still having a problem after that, you can come back in here and select the second option. If the app still isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Go ahead and select reset. This will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign in details. So go ahead and select reset. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point your issues should have been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.